Um, my name's Federica Fru. I'm 27 years old and we are here filming a documentary about my experience playing AFLW. So I was born in Melbourne, in Fitzroy. My mum's name's Katerina, my dad's name's Tim. My mum was born in Calabria, in the south of Italy, and dad's just a country bumpkin. He was footy mad all the time. That's definitely where I get it from. I played Auskick as a little kid at school. We moved up to Sydney for my dad's work, and I remember I saw an ad in the paper. It said, girls welcome to the Mossman Swans Football Club. And I said, dad, can I play? And he said, no and the next ad was soccer. So that's how I ended up playing soccer. I moved back to Melbourne in late 2018. I remember talking to my friend Catherine about what Essendon was like and how she went in the VFL and she mentioned they had a trial coming up and I thought, you know what, bugger it, I'll just sign up for the trial because my absolute dream as a kid was to play in the AFL. And I got to play in front of Brendan Major, who ended up being my coach, and he sort of pulled me aside and said, like, well, where'd you learn to kick like that? And I just said, well, I've been kicking since I was like three years old. I've just sort of had a bit of a sabbatical in between. And he was like, go have a run in the forward line. And I kicked a big banana from 40 out and never left the forward line since. I can't really remember exactly when it was when the AFL announced that Essendon were going to get an AFLW licence, but the path for me was just so clear then. I just knew from that moment that I just really wanted it to happen and everyone wanted it for themselves too, but we all wanted it for each other and we all wanted it for the club. And Brendan May just sat me down and he said, to get drafted, Fetty, you're going to have to kick 30 goals this season. And I said, OK, like, let's do it. We obviously had a record-breaking year. We finished the season undefeated. I had my best year ever and ended up leading the league in goal kicking. Unfortunately, my nonna passed away the night before we played Geelong and I was sort of thinking, should I play, should I not play? But my family just said to me on the phone, like, use what's happened as a bit of a motivation. You know, she would have wanted you to stay down there and play. And yeah, the week after that, I played probably one of the worst games I've played all year against Darabin. And after that game, I got called into the club. Nat Wood was there, Georgia Harvey was there, Josh Marnie, the head coach, list manager, and the at the time, the GM of footy at Essendon. And yeah, they just asked me if I wanted to sign there and then and I nearly fell off my chair because I thought, you know, this was just another meeting just with the staff to see how I'm going. But yeah, they offered me the contract and all I could think about was myself as a little kid thinking I'm going to play in the AFL one day and not even thinking I'm going to play in the AFL women's. Just I thought, you know, when you're a kid, you grow up, you want to play footy and I was just going to do the same thing and play with the men like that's what that's what made sense to me at the time. And yeah, I, it was a really special moment. I know, I didn't like that. I didn't get them for you. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. So round one was coming up and we found out the game was getting moved to Marvel and that made everyone a lot more excited. Mum and I were sort of given the task of reserving a bunch of seats for uh, all of Fetty's like extended family and friends to sit in. So we had bags and bags of like scarves and blankies and things to sort of put down on the seats to bag seats. And then I obviously was asked to present her jumper for her first game and her AFL debut, which was really exciting. And Fetty saw me coming out of the race with about four bags stuffed to the brim with blankets and looked pretty embarrassed. But yeah, it was a really exciting night. Running out with all the little mascots coming up the ramp out of the concrete belly of Marvel onto the beautiful deck through the banner. I've seen this a thousand times on TV. 
and in person watching as a spectator, but now I'm the player that's actually running through. One moment I'll never forget about my debut is probably my biggest chance that I missed ever. Well, the Bombers a chance for one late perhaps. Through the mark, plays on, steadies with the siren beckoning, hits the post. After that round one game, I've never been so exhausted in my life. We came home and, you know, Em was really proud of me. Everyone was so proud of me, but I couldn't sleep just replaying that over and over again. I just couldn't get it out of my head because in my mind, I'd already failed. The last game we played in Adelaide, we played Port Adelaide. We, we ended up winning, but my teammate, Alana Barber, just brought me in and I just cried on her shoulder because I just felt like the emotion of everything that happened that year with me and my family. My nonna passed away. I'd overcome a few hurdles myself and I just felt the emotion just start pouring out of me and I, the weight of everything that had happened that year, just, I felt it just on my chest and I couldn't stop crying. Yeah, I heard no news about my contract during the trade week and I was called up on Friday on the last day of the trade period in the afternoon. I was finishing up work in the city and asked to come in the hangar. It was really overcast and it kind of just matched my mood driving in there. The meeting was pretty short. When I got delisted, they just thanked me for my contribution to the club and unfortunately told me they had no room for me on the list the next year and I couldn't really think of anything to say. I just wanted to like beg them, I guess, to let me show them that I did deserve another year. But at the end of the day, it is a business and yeah, if someone else is performing better in my position and they want to bring someone else in, they have every right to. Taking fire, burning down. Desperate for darkness and everything that goes with it. For God's sake, physician, won't you heal yourself? For God's sake, physician, heal yourself. 